Hello everybody, Ultimate Bricks here, and today I'm going to be attempting to make a LEGO wireless charger. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be taking apart this wireless charger and putting the electronics inside a custom LEGO frame that I am going to build. First off, how it works is it needs to be plugged in from a USB uh, micro port right there. So you just plug that in, and then when it's sitting down, simply put down a compatible smartphone and it will begin charging, just like that. Before taking it apart, I am going to make sure that it is unplugged. Now, I've already removed the top layer here. What I had to do was stick a um, sharp knife underneath this and kind of pry it apart until the connections here um, snapped. And now that the top is off, let's test it out real quick. Um, I'm going to plug it back in, being careful not to um, touch any of the electronics. Um, even when it isn't plugged in, we have to make sure to be careful with the motherboard so it doesn't break. Um, so then I can put a Lego brick right on top of the wireless charging coils and put my phone back on top. And let's see, will it work? There we go. And so now it is charging through that uh, Lego piece, which, um, which is a good sign. That means that this project will work. Now we are met with four screws. I see one, two, three, four screws holding down this white plastic bit. So I'm going to unscrew that with this small uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Once I got these screws out, I put them in this little tray to keep them safe, and I'll set them aside. The two screws here and here, despite how loose I got them, I was unable to shake them out, um, but I can see that I'm going to be able to still pry it off. So I think that that will be fine. The next step will be to remove the actual electronics that are on the outside. So starting with the wireless charging coils, I'm going to try to use a brick separator to get all the way around the sides because it is glued on there pretty good but I'm gonna try to lift it up without damaging it that will be the tricky part all right I was able to successfully get the wireless charging coil off of the um, this plastic piece that is sitting there and next there is this LED indicator light that's right there and so I'm going to try to find a plastic tool to get that one off as well so I just went into my junk drawer and found this plastic um, propeller from what must have been some toy um, but it has these super thin edges so I'm going to hope that that will work so I'm gonna get underneath there and then pry around it, being careful not to break it. And I was able to, um, just like that, get that um, indicator light off. So now both of our electronics are disconnected from this frame. The next thing I'm gonna try to do is disconnect this piece, um, which feels like it's, feels like a magnet. I'm no expert in these things and I don't know if this piece is important but I'm going to attempt to remove it um, in as few pieces as possible like I'm gonna try not to break it or anything so whatever metal this is is just so heavily glued on to this piece the plastic piece that I'm not gonna be able to remove it in one part you can see I've already broken it so I don't know if this thing is crucial to it working because I'm not super knowledgeable in these kind of electronics but I'm going to keep going and hope that we didn't need this part all right so the next thing I'm gonna to try to do is get this white piece of plastic disconnected from this black piece of plastic so there are these little holes in here that I can stick the screwdriver through and kind of like pry up and you can see that it's starting to pry up right there so I'm just gonna keep doing that until we can get it thoroughly disconnected.
All right, now for an update. I have kind of mangled it. I've been sticking the um, screwdriver into these holes and I'm starting to disconnect, instead of disconnecting the top from the electronics, it seems like the electronics are attached to the um, white part before they're attached to the black part. So I'm gonna try to um, pry off the black part. And in order to help, I've gotten some of these pliers. I'm sure that I'm not showing it all on camera. It's hard to get good leverage on this stuff. So yeah, this is gonna work. Alrighty now, we're getting closer. So if you can see, I've um, pretty much just taken all of these, just taken the pliers and basically just bent them backwards. So now it's going the other way as before. But now as we get closer to the um, actual electronics, this is where it's gonna be time to be careful because I think to make it easier, I'm gonna try to rip all these things off. I'll cut here to make it more interesting. All right, and for another update, something I just figured out is as I was ripping these off, I realized that the foam on the bottom can be um, peeled off just like that and reveals two screw holes. So that's probably where I should have started. I feel kind of dumb now not having done that from the beginning, but now I'm going to unscrew those two screws. All right, so what I just did was I took this screw right here and unscrewed it. And that was the last thing holding on this thing. So now um, we have something that looks just like that. And now we're about to see if it still works. All right, is this project still happening? There's the port. I'm going to connect, connect it just like that. And the light is turning on. And when I put my phone on, Look at that, it works. I did not destroy it even after um, completely mangling the case. So I'm going to disconnect it now. And the next thing I'm gonna do is there's some nice screws. Um, and so I will now unscrew the motherboard from this plastic piece. All right, I just took the screws out. And so now it is like this and can move around like that. I'm gonna try to take off some of these excess plastic pieces, um, the black plastic pieces. Um, I just think that'll make it a little bit easier as we're moving forward to not have that there. What this actually is underneath of it is a cooling fan. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a little fan. I'm not sure if we will have that in um, the Lego version, probably not. Um, but now I have to figure this part out. I'm going to just try to take off the cooling fan now. Just take it completely out. And um, now, there we go. And next, we just have to try to figure out how to get that out of that hole. So let me figure that out. All right. So what I'm gonna try to do is actually bend this. It's just a wound up coil. So bending it should be fine, just like that, in order to squeeze it through there. And now just slowly unbend it. And then, um, yeah, so this should be fine. This piece here is kind of um, trapped in between that cable. So I'm gonna try to snap that. And what I mean by that is take this thin section, grab it by the, grab it with the pliers, and just uh, twist it like that until it breaks. And then um, pull it open like that. I hope you can see that. Pull it open and then just slide it right off. So now it's disconnected and we have gotten we have isolated the electronic. All right, it is time for another test. So I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to be careful to um, touch as little of it as possible because I don't want to destroy it. Um, and now you can see the um, LED is lighting up and connecting it and it is charging, it is not broken yet. Um, now I don't recall this fan piece ever doing anything in the original one. I don't remember it ever spinning and I don't think it helps that much. So 
going to try my best to disconnect it um, safely and hope that it still works. All right, so I couldn't figure out any way to connect that, so I'm going to try to cut it and hope that it works. I'm gonna cut it in a place where, worst thing, if it doesn't work, we can just reconnect it. So now it's cut, and make sure that is uh, connected in there, and let's see if it still charges. As you can see, it is uh, charging again. There we go, you can see it just activated. So this thing is fine. It doesn't need this thing in order to work, which means that I'm going to now bring it a bit closer and snip it again, get that out of the way. And now it is time to use this and build this into a Lego frame. So now it's time to start actually building something Lego out of this. So what I'm gonna do is just grab this plate and I'm gonna put together a, um, a rough draft of what this is going to be. First thing I'm gonna do is grab some white bricks. Um, basically, I'm not set on any color yet. I'm just grabbing some bricks to start building a wall. One thing I wanna do here is use a Lego arch piece um, for where the um, plug is gonna go into um, to try to get that as smooth as possible. I'll probably change this design around and when I create something nicer looking, I will probably make a standalone video for that, showing it off. So stay tuned for that. This will just be a quick draft, kind of proof of concept type of video. One thing that will be important is to make sure that the light um, still works. So what I'm gonna do is take this piece and put it there, and that will eventually be like the housing for the um, LED piece. The next thing that I'm going to do is add this piece right under there, just like that. And this is now going to hold the uh, wireless charging piece in place. Now a super important part is that the coil doesn't move around a bunch um, because when you put your phone on it, you want it to stay in place. So I'm gonna put that piece in the center, just like that. I'm gonna make this over here look a bit nicer just like that. Now we still have the entrance for the pieces. And then I'm going to take some plates and kind of polish up the edge a little bit where the um, coil is going to go. Oops, that was a little too long. So kind of build it up like that. And then take some three long ones right there, put them just like that. Next, we're making this part look nicer. I'm just gonna put some slopes like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Next, I'm going to take this assembly and put it on top right here so that the LED gets covered up and now it can only be seen through that window. For one of the final steps, I'm going to try to cover all that up with these red pieces. I'm gonna make the top red. This thing isn't gonna be super pretty on day one. All right, so now this super rough draft is finished. And as you can see, I can place my phone down right there. It starts to charge, and you can see through that transparent piece, the LED indicator light turns on. And I think that is super cool. So as you can see right now, the indicator light is flashing, and when I take my phone off of the stand, the indicator light does turn off and that is because it is no longer charging. All right, everyone, that is it for today's Lego wireless charger case video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for a future video where I will make this case look a lot better and sleeker. Um, this was just a video about disassembling the electronics and seeing if the whole thing was even possible. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe and consider turning on notifications if that is not something you have already done. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.